Hi, good evening to you, viewers. How are you doing? Well, we are in the middle of the of the month of July, and uh, we trust that you're coping in the midst of, well, this is the hurricane season. And um, Elsa ha having passed, left behind some measure of destruction and pain. Of course, there are other things that we are going through. We are also very much in the midst of the pandemic as well. I'm having a spite recently in the country. And as was said before, we have to work together to paddle through this, or these experiences. Today, we are focusing on the theme, coping in crisis. And sometimes we have multiple, multiple crises that we are experiencing. And I think that um, the topic is appropriate at this time. We are hoping to share a few ideas which will help us in general because we are all in this together. We're hoping that um, as we share, um, families will be impacted in a positive way. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this facility that we can share and encourage one another in this Barbadian family. Because we are all members of the family, so to speak, of the Barbadian community. We're individual families, but collectively, we are the Barbadian family. And this program, Lord, as you have initiated, focusing on family issues, which will help to make Barbados a better place. As the Church of Nazarene, of course, works along with the other organizations, other churches and other organizations to build family life. We are conscious that we cannot leave it to chance. And therefore, Lord, we are intentional, but we depend on your help and your guidance as we seek to rebuild our families and make Barbados a richer, better place. So bless us this evening as we would share in this program on this family forum. We bless you, Lord, in advance for what you will do for Christ's sake. Amen. Well, viewers, we shall be back with you in a moment. Invite someone to come and join a well, member of our family and the children, the teenagers in the home, um, we are talking today about coping in crisis. And this is a topic that is applicable all ages. We'll be back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. All right, it's good to be back with you. As I said, we are looking at the whole idea of coping in crisis. I just want to begin the program by sharing this quote. A catastrophe, or crisis if you wish, is a stressful event which can be sudden, unexpected, and life-threatening. It is due to circumstances beyond one's control and results in an extreme sense of helplessness because catastrophes occur infrequently. Most families are not prepared to cope with them. And uh, I also want to read a Bible verse, two Bible verses taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, which says, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, 
persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. In essence, we are saying that we live in a fallen world. Um, we are about clay, so to speak, fragile, but the all-surpassing power of God is able to sustain us. But surely we do have a part to play as well. Reverend Kelman. Good, uh, good, good evening to you. <laughs> and um, we, we do agree that we have a part to play in terms of planning, in terms of making ourselves ready uh, for potential eventualities. And I, I totally agree with you that issues of catastrophes or disasters or, or crises uh, are not regular occurrences. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when they happen, they pull on our uh, ability to cope. And of course, you know, we would want to make a distinction, though, of a father in terms of, of a crisis from a disaster. Mm -hmm. And a crisis really, as you say, is an interruption of normal functioning. Yeah. Uh, whereas a disaster oftentimes involves uh, when we have community structures that may have been damaged. Mm -hmm. And of course, catastrophe uh, entails there that you may have, as you say, loss of life, uh, significant damage to Community, community infrastructure, um, you know, loss of, loss of um, um, one's normal way of life. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be very protracted. Yes, the disruption. Uh, and mm -hmm. It can be very protracted. So, yeah. so the, the issue here, though, really has to do uh, with, one, uh, being able to plan, uh, but two, in the, the, the crisis or the catastrophe, uh, be able to find useful mechanisms mm -hmm. uh, for coping and of course, we you, you indicated that it's a very stressful time, and um, and that in itself creates for us, you know, um, some mental health uh, concerns, mm -hmm. uh, which need to be addressed, you know, during, during that difficult time. Mm -hmm. Yes, and of course, the uh, you have made an important point because of the intensity. Mm -hmm. It's not just stress, but the intensity mm -hmm. of the stress sometimes. It, does not only manifest in physical ways, right. but in many ways, the mental impact. And um, that sometimes renders person incapacitated to function effectively. And, 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 and the, the, the issue though, even now, has to do with our current reality. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you mentioned it's, the, it's a cumulative effect. Yes. You know, um, you, you have, you know, the, the issue of, of COVID uh, it is, it is a, an ever-present threat. Yes. It's not going anywhere, you know. Um, you know the, ash, the ash fall, mm -hmm. which was, you know, for, for many persons, uh, very, very difficult. Yeah. And then on top of that, you had uh, well, a system that came out of nowhere, it mm -hmm. would seem. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Elsa came by and did her own thing. Mm -hmm. So you have a cumulative effect, yes. you know, of multiple, all, yes, of all these different yes. crises, um, you know, realities, mm -hmm. and and persons are already many persons are already on the brink in terms of stress and mm -hmm. anxiety, and therefore anything that pushes them over, of course, will become a, a, a major a major challenge. So, 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 so being able to to, to prepare ourselves as much as we can because you know we don't we don't quite know how this is going to. Uh, hit us, mm -hmm. but there's some basic principles mm -hmm. in terms of being able to uh, get ourselves ready that should be observed, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, at this time and during this time. Right. And of course, we are talking about family here, mm -hmm. and all of us are part of some family. Mm -hmm. So perhaps we can, we, we don't know when sometimes the crisis will, or catastrophe will, will, um, mm -hmm. will strike, right. but you're seeing that there are some basic preparation principles right. yes. um, when we talked about disaster management right. there's some things that we talk about I believe that some things overlap right. and, and that <coughs> far, though, has to do as well with things like warning mm -hmm. you know um, and unfortunately in our part of the region we have our most common threat as o over the years is that mm -hmm. hurricanes mm -hmm. and storms yeah. and we have a uh, a, a relatively uh, good system, mm -hmm. you know, for for warning. Yes. But then there's some other other issues that there's no warning. There's for no warning for earthquakes. Mm -hmm. you know, it can just occur out of, out of, out of nowhere, basically. Yes. 
yeah. and um, or we want it to be very minimal. Mm -hmm. and, and therefore, as you said, the family plan becomes very, very, very critical. I mean, in terms of what happens, mm -hmm. it occurs during, during the day. Mm -hmm. You know, children are at school, uh, parents are at work, you know, um, there's or, or, or schools or, 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 or uh, different, you know, where children are, do they have a plan, mm -hmm. you know, for evacuation? What is that plan? Mm -hmm. You know, um, so, so having that kind of coordination becomes of paramount importance even, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, during, this, during this, this period of time. Right. And I think, as you have said, this is kind of relevant because right now we are going through yes. um, some disruption That's as right. a result of, of ELSA. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are aware that some persons um, have impacted to the extent that they have lost their homes. Mm -hmm. and therefore, um, the government and other organizations are trying to put things in place mm -hmm. to help. But, but, but what we want to, to kind of just zero on a little bit though before we even talk about helping is the actual uh, impact of, of the crisis though, mm -hmm. because uh, we mentioned stress, but how is that manifested? Right. You know, um, sometimes persons can become very disoriented. Mm -hmm. I remember in one of our um, responses to a crisis in a neighboring country, where the government lost his house, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, all that we mean was it was a small shed in the backyard, mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what was originally the backyard, yeah. you know, and he, he was in that shed for uh, many weeks and, and almost every day he would come out and just walk around where the house was, mm -hmm. just look around, I mean, mm -hmm. um, a sense of apathy, a sense of, yes. of, of helplessness, of, yeah, helplessness, disorientation, yes. yeah. um, you know, he just did not, couldn't understand what happened, yeah. and that sense of credit denial can become a part, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of persons who have had a major crisis, even things mm -hmm. like memory loss, yes. you know, um, mm -hmm. not knowing where the documents are. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like that, that they are, you know, that they are trying to, you know, uh, pretend it's, it's, it's genuine. Reality. You know, that, that, yeah. that the impact is so significant mm -hmm. um, that they just feel a sense of bewilderment. Yes. And then, of course, you know, issues of, you know, somatic issues, you know, normal headaches and stomach aches and those sort mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. um, they are all part and parcel. Um, of that, of that response in acute, in acute situations. Yeah, Elizabeth um, Kibler Ross, Ross study yes. um, identified a number of emotional stages um, that persons go through in crises. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps we can have a look, a look at that. Mm -hmm. You mentioned already when it happens, the whole idea of denial mm -hmm. and shock. Um, th these are realities. Yes. Yes, well, well, Elizabeth Ross is the is the grandmother of <laughs> of, of loss, loss, and and yes. and loss, mm -hmm. right? right? Um, and and yes, you're you're right in terms of of the the shock and denial, um, but also the anger as well, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I, I think that persons are very ill prepared for the anger, yes, uh, because as far as we are concerned, you have you have your life still, you know. Yes, you've lost some, your property, maybe, you know. Um, but you have life, you know, mm -hmm. and therefore you should be thankful. Mm -hmm. uh, but first of all, realize that that element of, of powerlessness mm -hmm. uh, often this becomes a catalyst yes. uh, for our anger because mm -hmm. cause we're, really, we're really taught that we should be powerless. You yes. know, we, we, we hear so words, words like... We want to be in control. Take control, you know, yes. and be, 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 be a little bit follower. Yes. Uh, so we have a built in us a mechanism for, for, mm -hmm. for control. As a matter of fact, I would probably well would argue that in Scripture, you know, um, God's words to Adam... At the very dawn of time, mm -hmm. you know, is to is to take control. Yes, you know, yes. um, take control the land. Take dominion. Yes, yes. Take have, dominion. Take control mm -hmm. the land. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So there's that inbuilt mechanism yeah. for control. Yeah, because because we as human beings, we, we 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 are custodians. That's right. Yeah, and especially you have the the head of the family can be so impacted mm -hmm. that he or she feels because they cannot control the circumstances for the family, mm -hmm. that also, as I said, will have emotional issues. But, but I, even that whole idea of the family, though, and, um, you know, in our, in our, in our uh, Judeo-Christian context, often is that, uh, is, a, is the male when he's, when he's present, mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. or, the, or the female mother, you know? Yeah. But, but sometimes in crisis, you know, 
um, someone may have to emerge as a leader, mm -hmm. even from in the, in the family, yeah. uh, because that person might be someone who has a person, the personality mm -hmm. that can handle the vagaries yes. of the situation. Another person may right? feel, yes. maybe immobilized, or the son, you maybe know, immobilized, um, yeah. or, or even may, the, the father, the mother may, mm -hmm. may be impacted yeah. physically by, 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 the, by the issue. So you rally around your person, or even in some cases they may be hurt. Yes. That, that the head may be, head of the home may be hurt. Yes. So somebody takes over yes. the responsibilities. Yes. You mentioned anger as well as Ross dictates being the second stage. Right. Now, how necessary is that for, to allow persons to um, share how they feel? Yeah, I, I the, the venting of it. Venting, um, yes. And I think perhaps sometimes the awareness and the understanding to those around the persons mm -hmm. Have to be conscious of how how important is it to be able to allow that emotional venting to take place. Yeah, and uh, and and I think also I think I think number one though, uh, Rafael, is that we need not to uh, see our role as having to stop the person from venting. From, from venting. Mm -hmm. I think I think sometimes. Um, our own sense of helplessness mm -hmm. prevents us from being able to yes. uh, to help other persons. Mm -hmm. and, and let me with me with that. Let's mm -hmm. a little bit, a little bit um, um, run the boat. Because sometimes when someone is, is angry, mm -hmm. we think we have to calm them down. Yeah. That's our role. And, yeah. and we feel bad, yeah. but we can't. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that uh, the person's tears or the person's um, outburst. Angry words, outburst, yeah. mm -hmm. is a normal, natural part of the moving on the process. Yes, yes. And, uh, and I suppose it's how how it is um, externalized. We don't want them trying to hurt others or hurting themselves. But, but there's a different story, though. If the person that hurts himself, then yeah. a, a different that, that that causes us to respond in a yeah. different way. Mm -hmm. But but I have this belief that often things when we tell someone. Stop crying mm -hmm. or or calm down. That that comes from a place of our own discomfort with them if, if at that point in time. Okay. And not and that's not and that's not centered yeah. on the individual. So mm -hmm. so I feel badly that you know that that Fry is crying. Mm -hmm. And so if he starts crying, I will feel okay. Yes. Right? Yeah. Right? And, uh, and and so the, the I issue, don't feel so helpless. Right? And so the issue of giving a person a chance mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. um, to express themselves so and to understand it's a necessary part it's of, important. The, of the journey. Yes. Um, and that's all right. And even in terms, though, of that being a, a family dynamic, you mm -hmm. know, um, and understanding one another, I mean, there's also a community dynamic as well, too. Of course. Where we can, as a community, um, during the crisis or in the crisis, mm -hmm. uh, create opportunity for us to be able to express. Yes. And, to and um, generally speaking, though, in, in, in these crises, um, the anger can be directed to self, mm -hmm. or sometimes perhaps can be directed to, toward the person that you think should be able to help, or to God. To God. <laughs> I mean, in the case in the case that what we're going through now, yes. um, some measure of anger can be directed toward the government. Yes, yes. I, I know person, but not just not not just justly so. Yes. But I suppose because they are they are they are the persons who are supposed to provide help. We we. For the friends that want to blame. Exactly. Right? It's and, a human thing. And, you know, and, and again, it comes to our own powerlessness. Yes. You know, yes. you know um, we can't believe that no one really is not to blame in this situation. Mm -hmm. so the friends that want because it has to be somebody to blame. Like someone must be, should be in control. Even if it's God. Right. You know, um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and that needs to be understood. Yeah. You know, I know that this will become for some persons a very, a very sticky issue. Yes. Uh, in terms of, of anger towards God. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I, I guess for persons uh, in our old way of thinking, yes. that, that is, of course, you know, fled in God's face, yes. as you normally say. Mm -hmm. um, but the question I, is, like, how, why did God allow it to happen? Yes. You hear things like those. If it's if it's, if it's, if it's omnipotent God, but he doesn't yes. stop it, you know. And why my house damaged and not the other person's and I've, been a, I've been a good person all my life, yes. you know. I've, yes. I've, I've lived well, you yes. know. These are questions, and, and these uh, are... Natural things that God does understand, though, I yes, must say. Yes, yes. Yeah. He's compassionate. And, and that's the point which you want to make, that God is compassionate, you yes, know. And, yes. uh, and even though he might, he might confound us when that time comes in terms of, you know, 
but it's the, it's the reality mm -hmm. of what we're dealing with Job, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and because Job was very, very upset, yeah. you know, but Job never sinned. Mm -hmm. uh, but in God's thing, God's about Job, you know, there's certain things you don't really understand here. Yes. Let's, let's, let's have a discussion about it. Yes. You know, um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and so the point I'm making, though, is that having, having that anger mm -hmm. is very normal. Normal. Um, and, and it should be facilitated as well. Yeah. And uh, a person should be helped to be able to, mm -hmm. you know, to, to process it, to deal yes. with it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in the crisis. Yeah. And even now, we're about far in this time, as we go through this, these multiple issues in our, in our nation, um, there are many persons who are, who are very, very, very angry, angry. Yes. you know, and, uh, and that needs to be... How can we facilitate that? I, I think a lot of persons talk. Yeah. You know, and um, I, I think maybe we talk with the family here. Yes. And if in the family context, family can allow persons to share how their pain and their hurt and so on and help. Also within the context of the church. The church, the church needs to provide environment for that. And, 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 and be aware and, that it is, it is real. And, and I'm a, a big believer <clears throat> in that, in this critical juncture um, of our journey, um, the church has a very, a very important role to play, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of of getting out there and being a part of the community in a different kind of way. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, we've always been part of the community. Mm -hmm. uh, most churches have been, yeah. but in a different kind of way in terms of, of seeking to help persons, you know, not just at the uh, the spiritual level, but mm -hmm. also, or in addition, yes. at the emotional and even physical because, mm -hmm. you know, there are times when as a church we can uh, put together a little small team to help maybe yes. fix yes. a house or, yes. Yes. or clean a street or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm. in, in terms of being a, being a functional, yeah. a functional. I think sometimes because some persons may figure I cannot respond to the entire job, but I, I'm thinking whatever we can do, mm -hmm. it, you know, whatever you can do, you do whatever I can do, I do, mm -hmm. so that eventually it collates mm -hmm. and um, we, we impact on health numbers. I I know that um, time is going so quickly, but we would we would we would. Um, viewers, we'll be back with you in a moment as we kind of wrap up this session, but just don't worry. We, we, we have a second session where we could dig a little deeper and look at some other issues related to coping with crisis. Back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, welcome back to you. And we are talking about coping in the crisis. And Reverend Farley, one area we've not quite addressed as yet has to do with the, uh, the reality of the, the somatic symptoms of stress. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about um, things like uh, the exacerbation of blood pressure issues, mm -hmm. talking about things like uh, diabetes mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and those chronic ailments that sometimes uh, are impacted negatively. Mm -hmm. um, In times of crisis, crisis you know? yes. And, uh, mm -hmm. and one of the things that I, I often say to the persons is that um, during stressful times, we want to ensure uh, that they're up on this their medication. Mm -hmm. um, wherever possible, you try to uh, find time to, to kind of just uh, relax or de-stress. Mm -hmm. Because, because there's a mind-body connection, as we know. Yes. And uh, what affects our minds mm -hmm. can be manifested in our bodies. Mm -hmm. And therefore, being able to, to deal with that effectively and efficiently mm -hmm. uh, becomes a, an important task and challenge mm -hmm. um, of, this, of this type. So if you know you're someone who um, has a chronic, chronic issue, they must pay particular attention to that um, during this During stressful time. times. Yes. I, I suppose you were saying that persons with chronic um, diseases, you can say a high risk. Yes. During, during times of crisis, That's right. it's an escalation right. that you should pay attention to. And members of the family should pay attention to and, and as you well. Should, I should also make sure that mm -hmm. you put your medication as well. And yes. um, I know that the, the, the little um, clips on the television and radio has been talking about having a few weeks or months supply of medication because yes. um, it anything crisis, can happen. Anything can happen. You know, yes. you can, Rules, like I said, some of, some of the infrastructure, mm -hmm. hospitals, uh, mm -hmm. pharmacies, and therefore the space of medication might be might be halted yeah. or reduced during, yeah. during the during Especially the Especially when we have a situation where we have to shut down. Yes. And a hurricane, that's 
how are you going to get medication? So That's I suppose right. the point, those are critical points you're making. Recently, we observed yes. that we were not far from quite a number of days. There you go. There you go. Week, so right? those are things that person, in terms of self-management, yes. need to put in place. Yes. All right, well, viewers, we, 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 we're going to come back with you um, in the next program as we look a little deeper at some other issues, um, coping with crisis. Um, but this is a very critical time for us together. I believe if we work together, as was said, in terms of family, you have the, the natural family, then the church family, then in the country. We work together because this is critical in fighting um, crises. Right. Mm -hmm. Almighty God, we give you thanks today for this time of engagement. We pray, Father, for those who have been impacted negatively by the recent crises. I pray, God, for your divine comfort. I pray for your divine help. I pray, Father, for your direction in their lives, Lord. Father, you're the God who can comfort us in the midst of our pain. And I pray, God, that they would experience your, your wonderful arms, Lord, wrapped around at this time, Lord, carrying them through. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you next week.